grateful that we serve a mighty God. We serve a God that makes a way where there is no way. What's impossible for man and sometimes not understanding why things are how they are, we know that God is in control and he leads the way. He is for us. He is with us. And he is our way maker.
that is who you are. Welcome, my name is David Indara. I'm the praise director for First United Methodist Church in Land of Lakes, and welcome to Core 14. Core 14 is taken from 1 Corinthians 14 and 15, where the Apostle Paul shares with the Corinth Church to not just pray in the Spirit, but pray with understanding, and to also sing with spirit, but also sing with understanding. So today what we're going to do is simply take a song that we sing in our congregation and just share in light of scripture how it stands. And the song that we're going to share today is, is Waymaker. Waymaker, the chorus of the song talks about four attributes of God, that he's a waymaker, he's a miracle worker, he's a promise keeper, and he's the light in the darkness. So when we look at Waymaker and looking at God, I'm really led to Isaiah 43, 16, 19. The scripture says, this is what the Lord says. He who made a way through the sea, a path through the mighty waters, who drew out the chariots and horses, the armies, reinforcements all together, and they lay there, never to rise again. They extinguished, snuffed out like a wick. And he continues the verse and says, forget the former things. Do not dwell in the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Do we not get it? Uh, I am making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. wasteland. It, it's talking about when they left Egypt and they ran through Red Sea. And they went through the Red Sea and everything was, was wrong. They didn't know where they were going to go. They said they were stuck. The Egyptians were going from one end, the Red Sea on the other. But God made a way. The nice thing is that when we look at the Lord, we see what's impossible for man is possible with God. And He is a way maker. He makes a way where there is no way. The second attribute is that He's a miracle worker. Psalm 77, 14 says, You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. And what I love about that verse is that He displays His power, God displays His power, not just for you or for me as sons and daughters, but to the whole world. In a moment where we're living now, we're seeing what God is doing, the miracles that He's doing, how He's performing. And when I think of miracles, I think one of the most beautiful miracles there could be is a life change for Jesus Christ. And someone that lives for Jesus. It's awesome, awesome. The third uh, attribute is that He's a promise keeper. Joshua 23, 14. Not one word has failed of all the good things that the Lord your God promised concerning you. Joshua, when he wrote this, he was of age. He was about to die. And he calls the people and calls all of Israel and reminds them, remember way back when God was with us back then. He's with us now. And he keeps his promises. When we look into the scripture, we look into Psalms and it says, Surely His goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of our lives. That's a promise that He keeps. When we look into Psalms 121, it says, Where does my help come from? I look to the mountains. My help comes from the Lord. He keeps His promise. He keeps His promise for you and for me. And the fourth attribute of God in this song is that He is the light in the darkness. It's interesting, when we go into a room and there is no light, there could be obstacles around that could make us stumble, that could make us fall. But all we have to do is turn on that switch and the light comes on. Now here's the interesting thing. The objects are still there. The objects are still in the room. But we don't stumble or fall because the perception, because of the light. And it's the same thing with Jesus being our light. We might have difficulties along the road. We might have things that we don't understand. Why is this happening, God? But well, one thing's for sure. When Jesus is our light, when we make him our light, we get to see those things, but we see it in a different procession because he is there. He's with you and he's with me. In Psalms it says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. As Jesus, as our light, he will lead the way. He is our way maker, he is our miracle worker, he's our promise keeper, and he's the light in the darkness. God bless. <laughs>